I have a dream. I've always wanted to become a bird. An angry bird. And today, using Wonderland Engine, I will achieve this dream. I have created a new project. I have added placeholders for our characters with simple shapes, changing their colors. You see, this is now our angry bear. Get off my face. And this is our pig and our wood. Perfect. Now for physics. Enable it. Then add it to our bird here. Let's test it by simulating physics. Whee! Okay. We need to add physics floor so that our bird doesn't fall into hell. Rotate the floor. Simulate. You see. Whee! Okay, rotate it the other way around. You see? Perfect. Now let's add three cylinders and create this throwing thing or whatever it's called. Nice. Now for the throw mechanics. When we press a button, I want to throw our bird and ourselves far away. So I have created a new component, named it bird and attached it to our bird object. I have added controllers that when we press any key down, we will call this press start function. And in this function, I will reference our physics component to add force in the Z direction. So to sum it up, when I press any button, the bird will get thrown forward. Like this, you see? But also, I want to be thrown a little upwards. For that, I have added the force to Y direction too. That is awesome. Headshot. I wanted to stay up on the air too, cause you know, it's weird to start the game and immediately see our bird fall down like this. So I have disabled the gravity on start, which caused a lot of problems. And so I have re-enabled it again, but only when we throw the bird. Nice. Things are going well. That's strange according to my life history. So now we want our bird to be flexible. We want to control its rotation and force strength based on its distance. For that, I have created an anchor object and I have calculated our new force by subtracting the bird position from the anchor position. Okay, this doesn't seem right. I have enabled the physics visualization and yes, now it makes sense. The bird gets thrown into the anchor direction, then it hits it and gets thrown back into the other direction. I have duplicated this anchor from the peg, that's why it has physics component in it. But we don't need physics in our anchor, so I have removed it. Perfect! So now the bird gets thrown into the anchor direction. And of course the force gets stronger the farther it gets away from the anchor. Wonderful! That enabled me to go to the next step to move the bird backwards. You see what I did there? The next step is to move backwards. Next and backwards. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I want a power charge feature. When we press a button, the bird goes backward over time and that determines its strength. And so I have coded as when we press a button, the current power gets increased and the bird moves backward in the Z axis to a certain limit. If the current power reaches its maximum, then it can't move back anymore. The force gets applied and the bird gets thrown away. Beautiful. But we need the bird to move up and down too to control its direction, right? So, I have done just that. I made it so that when we press the up button, the bird will rotate up in an arc. And if we press the down button, we will rotate down. But that caused a few problems. So this is what's happening without the limitation. And so I have decided to limit the rotation of the bird like that. Much better. <clears throat> but I think I need to add another limitation in height too. Now that's beautiful. And by the way, I have also made it to look at the anchor while rotating, otherwise it looked weird. So perfect, now for the rope. As you know, it's not cool to throw a bird without a rope. So I went to Blender, created a cylinder and changed its origin to the bottom. So we can scale it from the bottom instead of the center like this. You see where this is going? 
we will make the robe look at the birds and scale to it according to the bird position. And the rotation is pretty easy. I have got the bird position and made the robe look at it on each frame. Okay, I think I need to flip it in the other direction. Awesome! And for the scale, I want to change the scale of the robe based on the bird's Z position. But well, I'm bad at math. So I went to the primitive caveman route. Trail and error with numbers. Perfect! And when the bird is thrown, I probably should scale down the rope back to zero. If the bird didn't pass a certain position, then it's not thrown yet, and we will scale the rope to it. But if it passed a certain position, then it's thrown, and we'll scale back the rope to zero. Nice. And for the aesthetics, I have created a simple alpha image for the raw material, so that it disappears gradually the closer it is to the birds. It looks cooler like that. Wonderful. Now, for our biggest enemy in life. The one that all the birds hate the most. The pigs. This is our pig placeholder. I want to make his health go down to be able to destroy. And so, on start, I set its health to 100. And on any new physics touch, I call on collision function. In this function, I minus the health of the pig by 35. I console log that. And see, on each new collision, the pig's health gets minus by 35. Now to destroy the pig, if the health is less than zero, then just hide this object mesh and disable the physics. Let's test that. Awesome, the pig gets destroyed. <laughs> and for the dramatic effect, I have borrowed the old particles component that I have used in Pac-Man and added it to our enemy to be called when it's destroyed. Maybe I should slow the speed of the particles down a little bit. And now that's awesome. For the score, I have created a big big text. And each time a pig is destroyed, I increase the score variable and set the text to this score variable. Great. Now for the chances. I want to have more than one bird to try to destroy the pigs with. It's my right as an angry bird to have friends. I have duplicated our bird, which in return, they are all now controlled at the same time. That's bad. So I have created a bird manager, then made the first bird to be the current bird and disabled all the other birds. And when the current bird is thrown, the bird manager waits for seconds, then picks the next bird from the list as the new current bird. And we're able to control only the current bird now. But it's still weird because the next bird will stay still and gets thrown from totally wrong place. For that, I have created a lerp function that moves the next bird to the current bird location. Nice. This is all pretty cool and all of that, but I want to be the bird. Like, that was the whole purpose. I want to become the bird. An angry bird. And so, I have parented my player's camera to the current bird and hidden its mesh so that now I'm the bird. I have added VR controls and I will wear my VR headset and now let's test it. We oh god no motion sec Okay I have limited the rotation of the bird to only rotate on the y axis much better awesome It's time to beautify I have changed the sky added the map added more objects and pigs and more pigs I have added game over panel that appears once the game is finished and added in it a reset button that resets everything back. And now, let's see the final result as an angry bird.
Join our Discord server if you want to start your own game development journey with Wonderland Engine. And don't forget to like and subscribe or I will seriously get really angry.